Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trade, it's your girl Miss Supermodel. And today I'm going to do a weekly reading for you guys, okay? Um, I'm going to be pulling in your energy, the person that you're thinking about energy. I'm going to be going into the past energy, um, the present energy between the two of you guys, and the future energy. So it's kind of like a monthly, but I'm just going to make it a weekly, only because I haven't been on here for a while doing these readings. Because um, energetically, I just really haven't been feeling myself, truthfully. Uh oh. So I've been trying to get myself up energetically to do these readings because it takes a lot of energy out. And then, of course, I've had like a lot of stuff going on with me or whatever. Okay, two more shuffles. But hopefully you guys are doing good during this crisis. Okay. So you guys' overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys are definitely trying to um, invest in some things. I'm trying to figure out how to get things to work yeah i feel like you guys are definitely trying to invest in some things and move forward um and some things i feel like some of you guys could have been in some type of financial um burden okay or some things could be burdening you financially but i feel like you guys are definitely planning on uh, some of you guys i feel like you're taking a job offer or something like that but you're just trying to figure out how can you invest your money and um flip your money that's what i'm picking up to be honest, um, the way that you're feeling currently right now is the temperance. So this is your current energy. The person that you're thinking about current energy is the king of pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. Or you can have those signs in your chart. Or they can have that signs in their chart or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, in the past, we have the devil. So definitely you could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody has those signs in that chart. Present energy is the six of wands, swords. Um, and future energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, I thought you guys are definitely going to be taking a job offer. Um, looking into making new new financial opportunities or something like that. That's what I was picking up. Um, because I feel like whatever you're involved in now or whatever job you got going on now is like a burden. But I feel like you guys are definitely going to be taking new, um, looking into a new financial opportunity here. Moving on to something new. I feel like you're getting a job offer though. Or something like that. Okay. Um, so let's go right on ahead and clarify your energy. So you have the temperance card. Okay. As your, as your current energy right now. So I feel like you guys are definitely trying to balance some things out. Okay. Or trying to heal from the situation. Let me just use another deck to clarify with. Okay. So let's clarify the temperance for cancer, please, and thank you. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to balance things out and gain control over the situation um, that you're currently in because there was definitely some type of burden I'm picking up um, with some type of offer that you need or some type of investment, something. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are definitely holding back, okay, or holding... Whatever's going on to, for you or whatever you're working on, I feel like you guys are definitely holding it in. Um, or whatever emotions that you're feeling or something like that, you're just keeping it close. Like, I don't feel like you're letting it out. I feel like you're holding everything in. Okay, and I feel like some of you guys are definitely trying to manifest um, some type of stable income. Okay, or trying to manifest some type of... Um, commitment or manifest something where everything is going good within your household or your family okay clarify this king of pentacles so the person that you're thinking about dealing with is in this king of pentacles type of energy um yeah so somebody is definitely like successful in a relationship or 
Aquarius handles all the finances in the relationship or something like that. But I feel like this person is thinking about a successful relationship, um, whoever this is and I'm talking about. And we have temperance. So I feel like this person is trying to heal a relationship or trying to successfully heal a relationship or trying to balance things out. So we could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or a Capricorn. Or somebody has these signs in their chart. Last side is to um, the lovers. Yeah, somebody is definitely trying to manifest a successful relationship here. Okay. Um, I feel like this person got a lot of money. Yeah, it's definitely some type of investment that this person is putting in. They're waiting for something. Okay, this is the person that you're thinking about dealing with. They can be waiting for something. You're trying to manifest something. Okay currently so in the past we had the devil so there was definitely um a lot of toxicities here it could have been addiction but nonetheless when the devil shows up in the past it's not good like too much when the devil pops up it's just be too much going on so i got the devil for the past situation play for the devil for cancer please So this was definitely um, some type of toxic marriage, okay, or toxic spiritual connection here um, that was stressing somebody out. Um, somebody realized that it was stressing them out here, okay, um, or somebody could have told them. Yeah, I feel like somebody realized that there was a realization that this this marriage or this connection to this person was just stressful. Like, it was just too much. Somebody felt like giving up. That's how the heart been. Yeah, you're not going to tell me because I think I already said it. It was just a stressful marriage or a stressful union in general. It was definitely a stressful connection. Yeah, with the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like, I feel like um, now the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands is coming out in reverse before it was in the, in the upright. So I'm feeling like um, somebody is definitely moving away because somebody didn't want to make this situation public or somebody, I don't think that somebody was recognizing or realizing that it was just a bad situation to be in. Um, I feel like somebody was definitely doing a lot of spying, um, probably somebody, I feel like somebody was trying to block information, like put passwords on their phone or put passwords on their computer or Something like that to keep somebody from spying. So I feel like what made the situation toxic was that somebody was just too nosy. Like they always wanted to know what you was doing or you always wanted to know what this person was doing. And you had to protect yourself from this person. Okay. Um, yeah, because I feel like this person, we have the, um, the queen of wands. So I feel like this person was definitely attracted to you. But I feel like this person was trying to find out if. You was messing around with somebody else, or they was messing around with you, or or somebody was messing around with you, something like that. You could be dealing with Aries, or somebody has Aries in that chart, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it was just too toxic. I feel like somebody was definitely like trying to check somebody's phone or check their messages, and I feel like um, somebody had to get away from that. Like it was just too toxic in that situation. So in the present situation, we have the um, Six of Wands, Six of, I mean, the, yeah, the Six of Swords again, okay? So we, not only do we have it clarifying the past, we have it in the present. So somebody is definitely keeping on chugging, okay? Keeping on going on, <laughs> moving away from that negative situation. 
but I feel like somebody, yeah, there was definitely an end in here and somebody uh, wanted to start a brand new beginning with the death card and the fool. But I feel like somebody regrets that, okay? Or somebody's feeling sad or misses somebody else because of the lies and the deceit and the sneakiness that was going on in the situation, okay? Um, could be doing for the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Aries, for an Aquarius, for a Scorpio, or somebody that has those signs in that chart. Yeah, so I feel like all of that is behind you. Yeah, so you guys decided presently, I feel like you guys are definitely moving away. That fool came out again. So you guys are moving away towards a new beginning here currently. This is the present energy. I feel like you're healing and you holding back, okay? This could be you or this could be them. But I feel like somebody is trying to manifest a successful relationship. Um, something stable where, you know, they don't really have to worry about finances. Something that is more concrete and something more committed, Um in a relationship here with this, um, the lovers and the king of pentacles. And this is definitely something that you want or they want, you know, if they really want this. Um, but I feel like somebody is missing a relationship, okay, or having regrets about the relationship or something like that. And I feel like somebody could be kind of indecisive or making a decision here, even though they know that they should be moving away or walking away or just pretty much getting out of the situation and becoming single you know in a situation here so for the future energy though we do have um ace of pentacles so i feel like there's definitely a new opportunity coming for you guys a new financial opportunity um i feel like a new opportunity is coming could be money could be a job Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Okay, we finally got something. The Ace of Pentacles. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's definitely brand new opportunities coming for you guys. Um, new opportunities and money finances, something that's more stable, something that's more concrete, something that you can touch, something that's more tangible, okay, um, a more tangible opportunity, something that, you know, you see here, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, so I feel like the finances is definitely going up, so I feel like you, whatever this job opportunity is or something like that is going to help you out financially and put you in this Queen of Pentacles state where you don't have to rely on anybody, okay, where you could just rely on yourself as far as finances is concerned. Um, we have the, um, I feel like the reason why this person was all that spying on you before, like checking your phone or checking your computer or something like that is because they was the ones that was paying all the bills. Like they was the ones that had the money. And I feel like now you don't really need them. Like you can move on and gain your own money or something like that. You know, I don't know your story, but it's something like that. And I feel like now this person is going to be in their own element and been able to handle their own business the way that they want, you know, without the relying on the other person, okay, in a situation. So we have um, the Queen of Coins. So you could be definitely dealing with um, a Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, or Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Libra, specifically in Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, yeah, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, again, um, Sagittarius and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, or well, you can have these signs in your chart, or they can. So let's go on to your advice that we have. So we got three cards for you guys. So we have chemistry. So it says there was a strong magnetic attraction here. So in some of you guys' cases, I feel like some of you guys left somebody for somebody else that you was communicating with, okay? Or 
something like that. But I feel like you guys, there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. And I feel like that's the reason why somebody was in this stalemate type of energy or trying to hold on, okay, or trying to hold back in this situation because there is a lot of chemistry. Um, I mean, undeniably, that's what attracted the two of you guys together. But, you know, nonetheless, like this union is toxic. You know, this is definitely a toxic union. Um, it's really, it just really wasn't good at, at the end of the day. Um, and then we have separation here, and it says, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So we definitely see a lot of separation, you know, with the new beginning here and the um, Six of Swords. Somebody's definitely walking off, walking away from the situation because they're not feeling like, you know, they're being appreciated. They're being recognized. They don't feel like, I feel like somebody's feeling like they're not being appreciated in the situation, okay? Um, and they deserve to have more credit than they actually given in the situation. And then we have free yourself. So some of you guys are definitely freeing yourself from the situation. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? So this is your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonated with you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't to see more content from me. Like the video and comment down below if it resonated and I'll see you guys in my next video.